I couldn't pick it up as easy as he was. And then some people were talking, well, could you put it here and just press it up? I don't know if I could. Simon Miller, the board a-hole here. And do I love it when these things just blow up from nowhere. I saw this it was back in like September or something. I just realized I forgot to get rid of my penguin friend. This is Gerald. That's what I call him. He's now going to be Gerald the gym guy. <laughs> <laughs> he can be the mascot for the channel. Yes, Gerald, you've made it. You're awesome. But I saw this stuff going on with Chris Cuomo, have you pronounce his name, and Joe Rogue, and I kind of shrugged my shoulders, and then all of a sudden, boom, explosion. Everybody goes nuts about it. But it works for me because we can talk about it, and it is certainly interesting. Before we get to the specifics, I really don't understand what the fascination or the obsession with fake weights are. I get it more with someone like Athlean X, right? Because you look up to him, he's an inspiration, he's a source of advice, and you don't want to feel lied to. I understand all that. I've made my opinion on it very clear. There's like two videos. You can just search the channel now, watch them. If you agree, great. If you don't agree, that's all right too. It's the best thing about planet Earth. We're all out of our opinions and we share them out and we have free speech and we have intellectual debates. I mean, there's always that one guy in the comments going, you should die. But look, maybe it's good advice. It's never good advice. It's terrible. It's awful. Those people shouldn't happen. I don't really know where to start with this. So if you don't know, to catch you up, Chris Cuomo, whatever his name is, is a CNN anchor or news guy. And he had a video out there with a hundred pound dumbbell where he was just throwing it around like it was a piece of cheese, right? And it looks very, very impressive from an eye point of view, right? You look at it and go, wow, how is he doing it so easily? Joe Rogan picked up on this footage as he does with a lot of stuff on his podcast. And he was like, you know what? I think that's 100% legit. Chris Cuomo is a big dude and i'm not surprised that he can pick up 100 pounds there's a picture of him sitting at his desk holding a hundred pound dumbbell up in the air and bodybuilders are calling bullshit oh interesting i didn't All, see that also because of the angle that he's holding it. now yeah chris cuomo is <clears throat> look, i'm italian i could say this he's a guinea Right. A lot of those guineas are stupid strong. Now look, <laughs> I'm sure there are people that can pick up 100 pounds easily. 100 pounds is a lot of weight. I th I'm 99% sure that is like 45 kilograms. I don't know why I said 99% sure. I'm 100% sure. A, I know, and B, I double checked. 45 kilograms. I have no shame, and I don't think anybody should have any shame in saying... I couldn't pick it up as easy as he was. And then some people were talking, well, could you put it here and just press it up? I don't know if I could. And I'm not upset by that. I'm not ashamed by that. That's a lot of flipping ass weight. 45 kilograms. Now, if you're talking about pro bodybuilders or strong guys or, you know, uh, you know, world's strongest man, that kind of dude, they train to do that. So I'd understand. I would be worried genuinely about putting my deltoid out, ruining, <laughs> just becoming an injured mess if I decided um, to do that. But I think the big spark has been that Joe Rogan then on another podcast, because everyone started talking about it, said, you know what? I've talked to a couple of people. They say it's very unlikely. I thought Chris Cuomo was a lot bigger than he actually is. I'm now going to take a few step backs and I'm going to say that I probably do believe it is fake weights. And then I know Greg Doucet did some videos where he kind of agrees with Joe Rogan, but he makes a very, very good point all around. Uh, so I say to him, have you ever seen the thing? And he says, I just watched the video. I think it's fake, LOL. He doesn't <laughs> look to be bracing hard enough for it to be actually 100 pounds. My thing is, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't. Again, different with someone like Athlean Next, not going to talk about it, we've touched on it. But in terms of, for you, who cares if you can lift 100 pounds over your weight? Like, unless you are lifting weights because you want an ego lift, which, you know what, is a perfectly acceptable thing to do. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. If you want an ego lift, you should absolutely ego lift because it's getting you to the gym, it's getting you inspired, and it's getting you fit, right? I mean, I think the form and time and attention should be more important if you actually want to make gains. But if you're coming away from the gym and you're being safe and you're putting your health and safety first, but you're coming away from the gym and you are feeling good and you're feeling like a more positive person, I back you 100%. If you want to get in the gym and just run around in circles, as long as you're not getting in anybody else's way, and that's how you train and how you use the fitness palace, I support you in that too. Just don't bump into me. It drives me crazy. The two things that drive me nuts in the gym, when people aren't looking and they bump into me, and when someone's using a machine but they walk away from it and then I go to use it. They just flum and they fly back and go, oh, sorry, mate, I was using that. I was like, how am I meant to know? Because by your logic, I shouldn't touch any of the machines in case you're using it. Honestly, it drives me nuts. Something I probably need to go and talk to somebody about. So there's nothing wrong with ego lifting. There's not. You are in the gym for you. But if somebody else is doing it, who flipping cares? Gerald doesn't care, do you, Gerald? He didn't say anything. He's a toy penguin. Why am I even doing it? But I don't understand why these things blow up. Unless, of course, we're jealous of Chris Cuomo. Are we jealous of Chris Cuomo? Yeah, I'm a little bit jealous. If I could stand here now and take a 100-pound dumbbell, just 
slam it up above my head. That'd be an amazing YouTube title. Watch me pick up a hundred pounds like it was nothing. It would probably do really well because people are like, whoa, and then people would start talking about me. But the truth of the matter is, I can't do it. Not with the ease that he did it. And do I think it's real? No, <laughs> I don't. And if it is, he needs to change careers. The, the one, I hopefully I'll be able to find the footage, but the one where he just passes it across to someone, honestly, like it's a small child. It's unbelievable. To me, that is something, that's what I'd expect Superman to do. That is something that I'd expect to see Thor in the Avengers movies do. Not, and again, not say not just because he's some guy on CNN or whatever he posts. You know, he can still go to the gym. He can still be in good shape. But that would be freaky, crazy strength. They are, these are the kind of things I would expect to see from a Ronnie Coleman, from a, a, a Thor. I can't remember his name now. Not Thor. I was just talking about Thor, the powerlifter. And Eddie Hall, right? And you do see these guys do it. And it's why I find World's Strongest Man so fascinating. Because... It almost gets to, the, it's like YouTube numbers, right? If you don't know, if you're not in the YouTube game, when you first start off, you get 100 views. You're like, wow, flipping out 100 people watch my stuff. And if you're very, very lucky and very, very blessed, you then get to 1,000, 5,000, 10,000. But then if it then drops back to say 8,000, you're like, why am I only doing 8,000? Even though it's 8,000. Can you imagine you sold out a venue of 8,000 people? You'd be considered a massive success. And it's the same when it comes to watching World's Strongest Man. You see someone pick up a car, and because someone else picks up a lorry, you go, well, he's only picking up a car. And you kind of lose perspective. But I don't think we should do that here. If you can pick up 100 pounds above your head with that much ease, with that, you know, just with one arm and without injuring yourself, I think you're an incredible specimen and I envy you hugely. But in no world do I think this actually happened in the reality that is life. But I also don't mind if somebody thinks it does. I've got other problems to worry about. I've got financial problems. I've got relationship problems. I've got personal problems. I've got work problems. I can't have time, even though I've done it here, to sit around and worry about what Chris Cuomo is throwing out. I'd be more intrigued about what he deadlift. These are the kind of things I'd like to discuss. That'd be awesome, right? If somebody like that came out and said they deadlifted 250 kilograms, right? Flip. Well, now I want to try and deadlift 250 kilograms. That is a lot of, you know, that's a lot of weight. And that's what we should be using these things for, to encourage us in the gym and give us new goals. Like I realized the other day, man, I don't really have a goal at the moment, which is fine. You don't have to. I was um, main gaining, whatever the hell they call it. I don't know. But I didn't really have a goal and decided to want a goal. So now I've decided, all right, well, I'm going to try and put on a bit more size, put on a little bit more weight, and get a little bit more fat around the stomach. And then maybe towards the end of the year, I'll actually try and rip up more than I was. So that's now my goal. And all of a sudden, it was like uh, a whole new world, the gym. Remember the Aladdin song? A whole new world. A whole new world. It was like that. I was like, oh, man, this is fantastic. And I was on my flying car but with Princess Jasmine, even though she didn't really know who I was because I was pretending to be somebody else. And those are the kind of things that I need, I think you should jump on. So if you have seen the Chris Cuomo thing, and you did think it was absolutely badass, why don't you try and do it? Why don't you try and train so that you can pick up a 100-pound dumbbell, but don't do it when he's passing it around. But I mean, sat down, basically a shoulder press is essentially what it is. Some people do it with kettlebells. I think Joe Rogan mentioned he could do it with a 92-kilogram kettlebell. No, 92 pounds, sorry. 92 kilograms, which is, I still think is really, really impressive. But maybe that's something you want to do. We should take this stuff, and we should filter it into the positive, opposed from trying to drag everybody down all the time. I just don't get it. So there's my two cents. And I do, I'm glad this came up because one, I want to do more topical content. So again, please, in the comments or at my Instagram at Simon316, get in touch if you see any stories like this. I love talking about it. I really, really do. But I'm just very good at, uh, at missing them. And I can't remember my other point now. So clearly it can't have been that important. But they went about too long didn't read, which makes no sense because at the end of the video, I don't care. I think it's probably fake, but good for him. He got everybody talking about him. And there's no bad press or whatever they say. All press is good press. Not true. Really not true. Now, look, again, let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, give me more of these stories, more of these topical stuff. I love it. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, ding, ding. Click the video on the screen now so you can watch uh, other videos that have already gone up. They're already there waiting for you. I've got a Patreon, patreon.com, for us, Simon316. We talked about the YouTube game difficult to make those dollars. So if you can support financially, I'd appreciate it, but don't worry about it. Simon.BigCartel.com for merch. Instagram and Twitter at SimonMiller316. But more importantly, go out there, keep smashing it. Gerald wants you to do it as well. Good old Gerald the Penguin. I'll see you soon.